What is going on everybody? Welcome to a brand new Civilization 6 Let's Play. We're going to be playing as China in this game. We are on a Terra map mode. No, sorry. <laughs> What's it called? Pangaea. Pangaea map, sorry. On King difficulty this time. We played on Prince as Canada and that went really well. So we're back. Oh, there is some mods on actually. Did not mean to leave those on. None of them really do anything. There's the colour changing ones. So some of the sieves might be an unusual colour. And we have the demographics mod, but that's about it. So uh, here's where we've been spawned, near the coast. So we've got access to stone, incense, some wheat, some more stone, rice, lots of food. This could be a huge city. More wheat, not too many luxuries. It looks like this is sort of the corner of the map. It looks like the coast is there as well. But yeah, some generally good resources. So here we go. We will settle the city. One era score, and it is Xi'an, Xi'an. There we go. Not Beijing, but there we go. So um, before we do that, let's quickly, for anyone not familiar with China's abilities, the first emperor. So when building ancient and classical wonders, we may spend builder charges to complete 15% of the original wonder cost. So we can use builders to build wonders quicker. That's really useful. Um, obviously, builders are hard to come by. Well, not hard to come by, but you know, you, it's a trade-off, right? You're going to sacrifice the builder. Builders will also receive an additional charge. That's all builders, so we're going to have you know, to use less of them. Canals will be unlocked with masonry. I'm guessing that is earlier than normal. As you see, everyone gets canals, obviously. Um, dynastic cycle. Eureka's and inspiration provide 50% of civics and technologies instead of 40%. So that's a nice little bit. That's a really powerful one, actually. Crouching tiger. Chinese unique medieval era unit. Sorry, I completely butchered that sentence. No, they're not. It didn't read how I think it would. Ranged, ranged unit <laughs> with a range of one and high combat strength. Okay, and then we also have, of course, the iconic Great Wall, which is something I've tried to build a little bit of, because you get extra gold, increased defense, bonus to gold if adjacent to other segments, additional culture and tourism as you advance through the tech tree, must be built in a line along the borders of your empire, can only be pillaged, never destroyed. So yeah, that's pretty cool, obviously I would like to build the Great Wall, but in terms of starting technologies, obviously we want to get those boosts if we can, because 50% to 40% over the whole game. It's going to be one of those ways we can exploit and sort of claw back at the AI who are going to be a bit better than us, considering they're on king difficulty. So mining is a, that's the first step we want, mining or, I mean, we can build a farm straight away. So yeah, mining is probably the way to go. Um, unless there's a wonder or anything I want particularly early on. See, so animal husbandry and pottery do lead on to these things. And that was harvesting of wheat and rice. Yeah, let's start with pottery. Food is probably more important earlier on. And in terms of our first thing, let's build a scout. Always useful. New continent. Our explorers have named it South America. Oh, I did not mean to do that, but it's done now. What the heck? Why is it going straight away? Uh, auto end turn. I don't know why that's enabled. Disable that. That was weird. Yeah, I wondered what was going on there. Right, there we go. The scout went from four turns to one turn. Won't complain. Yeah, let's go and do some exploring. Do we want to get a monument? I think we should get another slinger early on. There will be barbarians. It did not turn that setting off. Really appreciate that game. Auto end turn disabled. Confirm. Right, there we go. Should be gone this time. Ooh, tribal village. And we are granted another scout. That is very nice, actually. Going to allow us to explore. Ooh, what was going on there? Why'd the research come through at the end? That's silly. Alright, meet another sieve. Hopefully we can boost those. So yeah, I'm going to go straight towards mining. We'll leave animal husbandry till last. Just because it is not the... Is it still? No. Okay, it's finally stopped auto-ending my turns. Thank you. Oh, I going to try and... Yeah, we... let's just do as much exploring as we can. Obviously, finding city-states, tribal villages, all pretty key. We actually found an encampment as well of barbarians. Let's quickly grab the monument. Let's get our culture underway. Already making twice as much science, so it'd be good to catch up on the culture front. And yeah, we keep an eye out for those barbarians. Uh, what happened to my slinger? Oh, there is a slinger. Okay, you don't need to explore slinger. Come back. I'll try and deal with the barbarians with the slinger. But yeah, let's try to find as much as we can. Right. Unit strength when fighting barbarians. Faith and gold. Um, I don't know if we'll go for religion. I guess we will. Um, we'll see. Like it, I don't know. 
There's eight sieves. As I said, it's a Pangea map on King difficulty. All the victory types are on except score. So um, bear that in mind. Discover second continent, improve three tiles. Okay, hopefully we'll discover a second one. We've got plenty of exploring units out there trying to find stuff. I'm sure they will arrive fairly quickly in a second continent, I hope, anyway. Looks like, yeah, we're up in the corner of the map, which I guess is useful. It means we don't have to worry about anyone coming from sort of this portion of the unknown. It's better than being like slap bang in the middle. That's always a nightmare for certain sieves. All right. Won't be us this time. Oh, another tribal village. Research, right? Nothing's boosted, so let's get animal husbandry, and then maybe we can at least get something boosted for that 50% bonus. Just get that extra little edge. Some of the other sieves, and here we go. So we meet Poundmaker. I've never played with him on like close. He's been in some of my TSL games. Don't think he's been in any of the random map games I've been doing recently. So that's exciting. Great bath. What does this do? Floodplains along the river containing the Great Bath are now immune to flood damage, though food and production bonuses from flooding drop by 50%. Floodplains tiles belonging to the city gain one fate for each time the flood damage is mitigated. We'll give three housing and one amenity. That is pretty good. I'd, I'd be tempted. I don't know how much is a builder. Um, 130. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I kind of want to get... I mean, it's recommending a settler already. I was tempted by a builder getting a builder quickly just so we can work some tiles and get some boosts hopefully yeah there we go is that already his second city no that is his capital okay so that's how close we do it he's actually i think that's the great bath isn't it i'm guessing by how it looks that that's the great bath so maybe best not to go for that there we go we oh we got a free builder okay well you know what i'll take two early on that's not a huge issue Whoa, hopefully that unit stays alive Let's build a farm, which gives food and housing, boosts irrigation. Nice. Oh, keep that in light. We do get a pantheon. All right, let's pick one that works for us, regardless of if we go religion or not. We don't have any desert. Rainforest? Not really. I mean, there's some here, but it's not really adjacent. Two amenities and housings if they have a holy site next to a river. That's pretty good. 15% production towards early wonders. I'm really tempted by that. Great person points from holy sites. I don't know if I'll build that. Scientists and writers. Production from marsh, oasis, floodplains. Are floodplains just... It? No, floodplains are these tiles specifically. They're not all of the ones next to a river. Culture from pastures. Food from camps. There's so many choices. Production towards ancient and classical era military units. Districts without a district. When choosing a set, receive a settler. Border expansion rate 15%. I like that. It's very short term, but I do like that. Um, I'm going to go for the production towards wonders, and I'm going to try and get some. I probably won't be. Able, I won't be able to get the great bath, but I'll try for some other ones early on. Try and grab a few of those. 15%. Yeah, let's see how much damage. Okay, that did not do as much as I was expecting, which is good. <laughs> it's definitely not a bad thing. Um, yeah, let's keep this up. Build some quarries. All right, you can actually. Okay, I'm going to take another shot, weaken them. Yeah, they're really low now. That should be good news. Keep coming across there. Oh, you, you're you eligible for promotion too. We'll give you that soon. Looks like there's another sieve here, unless that's just another... Is it the Cree? I can't remember if it's the Cree or the Mapuche. I think it's the Cree. I think the Mapuche are blue. I have actually played in a game with them, so I think I would remember that one. Can't really see it. Uh, it seems. Yeah, I think it's a difference. It might be a city state. Uh, tech boosted masonry. Nice. At least we're boosting some. We're about to get another builder. So we'll get everything worked and set up, like to be worked as early as possible, which is really useful. We do complete animal husbandry. Now, in terms of boosts, writing is boosted, as is irrigation. Now, our hanging gardens will increase growth by 15% in all cities with two housing. I would like that actually. So I'm going to try and get the hanging gardens. Let's rush towards that. We could speed it up actually a little bit with one of the builders. I don't know if maybe you have to keep their full charge, but we'll find out. Oh, that! How did they not die? They are so low. Um. Okay. There's the edge. This is a weirdly looking shaped continent. We're all supposed to be on the same one. So 
That's a bit weird. I wasn't expecting it to look as it is. Let's quickly grab the granary, some more housing, and some more food for the capital. It's already coming along quite nicely. There's some mountains, not where I was really expecting them. I'm going to bring the warrior back now. Right. I want to save this builder. I just want because you might need like full to contribute the build charge. I'm not sure exactly how it works. Craftsmanship is done. I think that's for having the three of farms or whatever. And archery also boosted. Hopefully we, no one else spawns. Watch it, another unit will spawn immediately now. I know. I know how this works. <laughs> Foreign trade. Right, two gold from trade routes. We don't have any yet. Production towards ancient and classical naval units. We don't need that yet. So civic mysticism is boosted, as is craftsmanship. Let's quickly get craftsmanship. And yeah, let's send this warrior back home. The scouts can continue to explore. Don't know what the other scout's been doing for a while. I haven't seen him. Not taking me over there. Three euro score though. That clears that camp. Boosts another another thing. And I think that... Earns, uh, no, it's going to change. I think it's a, we've avoided a, norm, a dark age. I don't think we've earned a golden age yet. And that number should change. Yeah, you need 22 or above. So, not, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to move that unit back. Another city-state boosting political philosophy. Nice and early. Right, you come and hide in there. There we go. Uh, you just stay here for a second. And yeah, you come back now. Keep on exploring. Nice. Oh, there was a tribal village up there. Um, oh, that's that's awkward. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go back for it. They're so useful. Um, they, they can be really good. Right, 30 production to all builders. No, to all units. Yes, because we don't see any more barbarians. At least for the time being. They may show up again. But for now, that's not the case. All right, let's build the mine over there. On the resource uh, scout, let's head back. It's only gonna be a couple of turns to go the whole way. Right, this is done. Grants flanking and support bonuses. Two great general points. Production towards heavy and light cavalry. Great scientist points. Yeah, let's get that done. Uh, grow your civilization to six people. Build a district. I'll try and get one of those done as soon as possible. I'm probably gonna go for a wonder first. Hello, Brazil. Nice to meet you. He is very far away. Is there really no one that close to us? Oh, moderate flood. On that barbarian, where where is that? That was really close to us. What the heck is going on? Oh, that's over there. Wow, that flooded badly. Um, well, that's good news, I guess. It didn't flood me. All right, tech tree, archery is boosted. Find natural wonder. Sure, that's gonna happen. Found a city on the coast, probably won't. But I'll try. We can probably kill three barbarians. Minor resource, yeah, we should be able to do that. All right, let's get this so that we can get the campus nice and early. Right, you. Build another mine. Right, hanging gardens, 10 turns. Um, what, what tile? Two food is sort of the best we can give away, so we'll stick that there. Scout keep coming over. Try and get this warrior home before I just forget and ruin it all. Right, I'm going to send this unit towards that encampment we saw. And now how do I contribute with the builder? Do I assume I have to go over there to the actual wonder site. Right, we'll get that done. It's been a very productive 20 turns. Alright, keep heading back. Come on, we've got to find some new stuff. Brazil already with the second city. Alright, we get some free gold. Now we can run away. Promotion. That will keep you alive for now. Alright, nine turns left on the Hanging Gardens. Jeanne is about to reach five. I'm going to let it quickly get to six, and then I'll build some settlers. Obviously, I want to get that. Thing. Right, we can't put a wild card in yet. Can you put you can put a wild card in any slot, can't you? No, you can put sorry, you can put anything in a wild card, not not a wild card in anything. My bad. Right, come around there. Um Okay. <laughs> Just don't let me do anything then. Uh, faster movement. There we go. That'll help in the future. Civic. Right, that one's two turns. Send envoy. Are you, Kabul is militaristic. I'm tempted to send it to them, but they are very far away. These guys are our neighbours. Yeah, let's get it with them. Let's get that one bonus. Four gold extra at the start is actually really useful this early on in the game. And that's like hot, double the money we were making before. 50%. I don't know if it's already been included. Add production to a wonder. Okay, so we can just do that four times, I think, cause, or three times, because we get that extra charge. And that's going to really... Make sure we get that one, plus the 15% production 
from the Pantheon. So we're gonna we should be able to get that much quicker than normal, basically. So that is gonna be quite exciting for us. I see another tribal village. Let's try and grab that. Hopefully get something good out of it. Another thousand thousand year flood, not too close. Writing military tradition. Production towards cavalry, no great general points we can't use yet. Okay, I'm trying to get towards this barbarian camp. Right, and there we go, we complete the hanging gardens. The ascent to the highest stories by stairs and at their side are water engines, by means of which persons appointed expressly for the purpose are continually employed in raising water from the Euphrates into the garden. There we go. That is beautiful, and that is going to give us 15% extra growth in all of our cities in particular is the main thing. There are some other smaller bonuses as well. But yeah, that is going to give us a massive population, which, you know, fits, right? China's got a huge pop biggest population in the world. Build a district. Um, I'm going to go for the grow to six people one now, because that will happen in four turns, and then actually probably quicker. Oh, the Oracle. Another another great one. Um, <laughs> that is... But yeah, I need to get the campus to boost something else. I will grab the campus this time around. Okay, unit needs orders. Have we not found another continent yet? That is the real question. Maybe we did. Maybe I missed out on that. Continent. Yeah, we have found many. South America. We're in South America. Africa here. Brazil is in Africa and right next to South America. That's a bit off, but there we go. But that will be it for this episode. I nearly said series. This episode. So as always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.